بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلب الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء الثالث من المحور الثالث بعنوان 3 Drawing To make a representation for 3 we have three types of representations First one is called detailed representation. Second one is called schematic representation. And third one is called simplified representation. And this one we will use it during this course. Detailed representation. Use slanting lines to represent crest and roots. Roots and crest are drawn in sharp VS. This is a detailed representation. This is external thread and this is internal thread. Thread run out in this region. For the schematic representation, use alternate long and short lines for representing crests and roots of the thread, respectively. So here, long lines, it is for Crests, short lines, it is for roots. Same to internal treat. Okay, this is the pitch. For the simplified representation, and this representation will be adopted and used for this uh, course, use thick continuous lines for representing crests and thin continuous line for representing roots of the thread, respectively. So here we have the root, and here we have the crests, okay? And this is this chamfer, it is pitch, half of pitch, okay? This zone or region, it is the thread ran out. Here we have sectional view for internal thread. You can remark here that dashed line that uh, hatching lines will cross the root lines okay isometric threads this is external thread for isometric threads this is the internal thread this is the center line of the thread assembly here we have p over 8 pitch here pitch over 4 and this is the total pitch p here we have 60 degrees for the isometric thread assemble occurs if only both internal and external thread have an equal nominal size or diameter and pitch also otherwise assemble will not occur Some examples for metric core threads. The nominal size with symbol for 6 mm, for example, it is M6. That means the major diameter is 6 mm. Here, because it is coarse, pitch is 1 mm. So, minor diameter it is 4.92 mm. But the tap drill size will be about uh, 5.92 it is 5 millimeters this is standard uh, size for m8 for example here 8 millimeters the pitch is 1.25 if the minor diameter it is 6.65 so the tap drill size will be something standard 6.75 m10 the measure diameter or nominal size will be 10 millimeters the pitch will be 1.5 millimeters so the tap drill size it is 8.5 millimeters and the minor diameter will be 8.38 let's move now to see in the sample m it is for metric thread and the number here it is the ma major diameter or the nominal size minor diameter and trip and tap drill size this the, the the dimension will be the same 
almost 10.11 and here 10 this is, should be standard in the 3d drawing the following relationship is used so minor diameter is equal to major diameter minus the pitch let's move now to metric fine thread for m8 thread nominal size is 8 millimeters so the pitch it will be we have two possibilities 0.75 or 1 millimeter if we compare that with the core thread for 8 millimeters Last slide here show us the pitch is 1.25. This is coarse, but here for fin it is 1 or 0.25 uh, or 75 uh, millimeters because it is fine. Same to M10, so the pitch will be between 0.75 or 1.25. Here in coarse thread for 10 millimeters we have 1.5 millimeters. As a pitch. Same remark here, minor diameter should be almost equal to tap drill size. In three drawing the following relationship, it will be the same relationship. It is minor diameter equal major diameter minus the pitch. Here we will present the drawing steps of external thread. First, you have to start by drawing thread axis. You have the measured diameter here. Starting position, you have to fix it by this line. You have the thread length. And you have the minor diameter. Start by drawing chamfer 45 degrees. And here, with 30 degrees. Okay, this is external thread. This is center line. Okay. Now, for the uh, uh, side of view, start by drawing circle that represents a crest. Draw an arc that represents a root. It should intersect here. Okay. And not continuous circle, it is arc, axis, this is side of view. Drawing steps of thread hole. Throw threaded hole. Center line. You have the major diameter. You have the minor diameter. Draw a root. It is dashed line. Draw the crest. It is dashed line too. This is a center line. Because it is sectional view. Now, each dashed line will be continuous line for crest and for roots. And hatching line will cross the root line. Okay, with the center line here. Side view now, draw a circle that represents a crest, and the arc should be outside the circle and should cross one of the axis lines. How to draw blended threaded hole now? Draw the thread axis position. You have the hole depth. You have also three depth. You have the minor diameter. Okay. Draw these lines with three thirty degrees. You have the major diameter now. Okay, this is the root. And now, this is the crest. 
Okay, this is a center line. How to make side view? Starting by axis position, draw a circle that represents crest. Okay, and draw an arc that represents root. It will be outside uh, the circle. Now for sectional view, roots lines and crests lines will be continuous line and uh, the etching lines will intersect the crest line. Dimensioning of external thread. Use local node to specify thread form, nominal size, pitch, if it is a fine thread only. This is M10, if it is fine or gross, here it is coarse, okay, but it is, if it is fine, you have to put here, multiply it by one, okay. Use typical method to specify three the length. This is the three length. How to make dimensioning for three the hole now? Use local node to specify tap drill size, drill depth, thread form, nominal size, pitch, and thread depth. We have an example here. 8.5 a drill. This is local node to specify the tap drill size. 20 millimeters deep. This is M10 as a nominal size. Tap it and 15 as a deep, for example. 